Hi, I'm Gary Fetters with ICF Specialist. Today we're going to go over one of the most uh, asked questions in the ICF industry and that's uh, the basic steps for installing ICF. Everybody has their own method of stacking. We've been doing it for 12 years. Um, stacked well over 2 million square feet of ICF. We always start a wall with a uh, short side of a corner facing a long side of the corner. That, that sets our stagger for the block. And then, uh, and then every cut on every row will be the same if you do it that way. If you start out with a short and a short, the next row is going to be a long and long. So the block, the block dimensions will always be a little different. So we we'll start in the corners. We start in both corners. And so we're going to start there with a uh, with a short. And let's say this was our other corner. And then we're going to work towards the middle. Ideally, you want to hit a door. And if there's not a door in the wall, we want to hit a window. If there's not a window in the wall, we're just going to pick a spot in the middle somewhere. But this wall, for to keep it simple, we're going to say this falls on a full block. And then we'll get to cutting a little bit of block. So we're going to take the short, we're going to place the long. I'm going to place another long, or another, another straight, and then slide our if that, we're going to start in the corner, so just kind of simulating that this would be this would be the size of our wall. Um, so I'll take a block, put it on here, take our pencil. Don't matter if it's it's four inches, three feet, and we're just going to mark it. So we have a nice mark. Mark the other side. Many options for saw. A lot of people like the pruning saw. They fold up, so they're kind of a little safe. Um, I prefer just a regular, regular hand saw. And uh, we're going to cut through the block. Put this down in here. It's a little tight. You can move your corner back a little bit until it fits good. Block. So we we'll put our rebar in and snap it in. The, snap it in the rebar fingers. And one thing you want to do that we always do is always, always keep your webs lined up. So in behind here, in between the, behind this fox block. There's a, uh, there's a plastic web, um, and that's what we're going to fasten our drywall to, our stucco. So that's our stud. It's an inch and a half wide, every eight inch on center for box. Some of the other blocks are six on center. But no matter what, we're going to have our studs always lined up. Um, very critical for the other trades to come in for drywall and stucco, that they, uh, they always have that stud lined up. So this corner here, we started with the long. Now we're going to come back to the uh, to the short. Stack that up, and then, as you can see, the, how the wall goes from there. In summary, that's that's installing ICF. That's that's your simple um, simple way to stack the block. Um, just hit on the keynotes. Start at your corners. Work in, preferably work towards the door. Your seam would be a top. Uh, second from that is a window. You have a seam below and a seam above. Um, and if there's no window or door, again, we're always going to start from the corners with a short and a long, work our way to the center of the wall, mark your block, cut it. That measurement will be the same for every row close to the top. Thanks again for watching. Please tune in for the other, other videos on installing windows, uh, framing, and I'm going to have one for uh, pumping concrete soon. Thank you.